The following review has been approved by the Best of Classic Game Room. Banished from Earth Classic Game Room broadcasts from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on its never-ending mission to review everything. Welcome to Classic Game Room for the review of Nuts and Milk on the Famicom. Yes, it's a silly name, but this is one of the best games I've played this year. Let's see why. Nuts and Milk. Nuts and Milk. Good game, though. What are you doing, little Jimmy? Why, I'm playing with my nuts and milk. On the Famicom, from Hudson Soft, released in 1984. How's it possible Nuts and Milk never received a Western release on the NES? If any game gives Seaman a run for its money, it's this one. You uh, don't torture a fish in this game, though. You just avoid enemies and score points. So I have to be careful how I say this. Nuts and Milk arrived in a package from my friend Mark in Fresh Meadows, and, and I knew immediately it would have to go on the show. Although I had no idea what kind of game to expect, and I certainly didn't expect this. It reminds me of Donkey Kong Jr. meets Godzilla on the Game Boy. It's like an arcade-style puzzle game, and it's awesome. For starters, the style is really cool. It's got that early 80s Nintendo style, although according to the internet, this is the first third-party game on the Famicom. But don't quote me on that. Quote the internet, because it's always reliable. I feel like I'm making this look a little bit easier than it is, but I played these early levels a couple hundred times. Getting into the game, what you do is simple. You collect all the fruit while avoiding the baddies and eventually save your girlfriend and score points. I think. I think that's what you're supposed to do. You're the pink one, and I, I believe your name is Milk. Because when you get extra guys, it shows up in the Milk category. It's just an awkward title. Also, that would imply that your girlfriend is nuts. Which accurately fit- well, no, I'm not gonna go there. Never mind. Well, this looks simple. It's actually pretty tricky. You can only jump when you're moving, and you can't jump if you're hanging on those chain-like things. You can only jump off these solid surfaces. Also, bouncing off those spring pads is by far the hardest thing in the game. Timing is critical. You have to hit the button just before you land, or else you don't get a good bounce. And then, most likely, depending on the level, you'll drown horribly. Here's a bonus round. Collect your fruit! Score points! Hooray! Aside from the goofy title, I like everything about this game. It's fun to try and figure out how to guide the enemies around the level because they'll always follow you and you can walk them off cliffs and into the water and stuff. I think the little dude looks awesome when he's knocked out. I like the music. I like the gameplay. Everything about Nuts and Milk is amazing. Except it's hard to say with a straight face. Beyond that, though, I highly recommend this. Sadly, it doesn't seem to be available uh, any anywhere conveniently in the West. It's on the Japanese Virtual Console, so says the internet. That doesn't help those of us in space. But I'm playing this on what, what appears to be like a Western Nintendo family computer that plugs directly into your composite video plug, just like the NES. And it outputs a great signal, as you can see. I'll be reviewing that soon. And it was also sent to the show by Mark in Fresh Meadows, New York. There's the New York area. Lots of pins now. I shall invade New York with my nuts and milk. Famicom game cartridge. It's the best. You need this game, not just because people will look at you crazy if you say you're playing with your nuts and milk, but because it's also just a fabulous game. But wait, there's more! It's also got a level editor. You can go in there and make your own levels. What a great game! Nuts and milk! Not just a tasty snack anymore. Although personally, I just prefer Chex Mix. 